Hello everyone. So, today I am here to present a topic on concept of health and disease which is your under BP 802 T code. In this topic we will discuss about the aspects of health, what is disease, what is the dimensions of the health and what is about the disease, how many indicators are there in the concept of health and disease. So, let us start with the definition of the health which is provided by the WHO, World Health Organization. This definition is provided by WHO in 1948. According to this, health is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being. In this parameter, there are three things are taken, physical health, mental health and social health and not merely an absence of disease. So, this point should be noted. Whenever we are saying a person to be a healthy, we are not saying it as absence of disease, but it should have the physical parameter, it should have the mental parameter, it should have the social parameter. All of the parameters should be taken care. What are the other things in this? An ability to lead a socially and economically productive life. So, this is all about the health. Now, coming to the multi-dimensional multi aspects of health. So, by WHO, there are three parameters taken, physical, second is the mental and third is social. In physical health, we are saying that our body is working properly. Every cell and every organ, every tissue, okay, they are working in a harmony, they are working well. So, it is written is functioning at optimum capacity in a perfect harmony. Then we will say yes, the person is physically healthy. Second point here is the mental health. Mental health means there is a balance between the individual and surrounding world. It includes intrapersonal as well as interpersonal aspect means what person feels in himself or herself, this is under the intrapersonal perspective. Then second is the interpersonal, how is the relationship with the others. So, this is under your mental parameter. Third is the social, means what is the quality or a quantity a person is sharing in a community level, in a society. So, that is under social perspective. This is all about the World Health Organization, but there are other parameters which are also included in the multi-dimensional concept. See what are these parameters which we can include is the spiritual, okay. This is also defining the health, like part of the individual which reaches out and strives for meaning and purpose in life, which include meditation, yes, how the person is following all of these things, meditation, uh, meditation, yoga, yes, what are these aspects, they are com coming under the spiritual part. Then emotional aspects, emotional means what the person feels, okay, there could be happiness, okay, anxiety, a person is feeling anxiety, the person is sad. Okay, the person is satisfied, they all are under the emotional aspects. Then next aspects which is added in the multidimensional concept is the vocational aspect. Vocational means which is including physical parameter as well as mental parameter. So, we can say this is conclusion of both of these parameters. Okay. Then uh, there are some other parameters also which are, uh, uh, which are included in the multidimensional aspect is the philosophy. Okay. Uh, there are some things which we are taking from our ancestors. So, that is how we are uh, following those philosophies. This is under your philosophical part. Okay. Like uh, uh, awaken in morning, okay. take uh, take healthy diet, okay. Um, early, we are taking early diet, early evening diet, okay. These are some of the points which come 
coming under the philosophy which we are following from the ancestors. Then there are some cultural aspects also, okay. Our beliefs, our attitudes for the health and the disease, what we are thinking of. So, they are com coming under these, these all of the aspects. Then there are some socio-economic aspects, okay. They, this is the major part we can say which, which is uh, which is impacting on the health or uh, responsible for the disease condition. So, there are people who are rich, okay? there are people who are poor and there are people who are in between of the rich and poor. So, these uh, socio economic condition is also impacting on the health. How? Of course, we know that rich can afford every health facilities which is in the uh, community level. But uh, if, if you are comparing it with the poor, so poor uh, cannot afford it in a same manner as the rich can or the upper uh, middle class can or middle class can. Okay. Then uh, environment, so under the environment we are uh, considering for the uh, society, yes, uh, how the society is impacting, yes, in which society we are living, how they are uh, following the cultures because this is also impacting on our cultures or on our beliefs. Then there are some uh, we can say pollution also, this is also the part of the environment which is impacting the health or uh, causing the diseases. Then uh, educational aspect, educational aspect means uh, we can say awareness about the health, this we are getting only by the educational or awareness. Okay. Then nutritional aspect, yes. Nutrition is responsible, uh, this deficiency of nutrition is responsible for many of the diseases. Okay. So, we are checking the nutritional status as well. Then uh, curative, okay. so in some of the diseases, uh, we are following the uh, this curative part, okay. means so the therapy we are following for the, uh, for the patients, it is under the curative. Then uh, there is a term called as a no, prevention. Uh, so, we have a one tagline, prevention is better than the cure. So, of course, uh, preventive cure is better than uh, to take any disease or to go uh, to go in the this curative stage, of course. So, we are following all of these dimensions which is under the multi-dimensional concepts of health apart from the three, uh, three dimensions of the health which is given by the WHO. Okay. I hope this is clear to all of you these uh, these specs or these multidimensional concepts. Apart from it uh, in the uh, concept of health and disease we have some components of the health. So, see there are basically two components, uh, first component is the objective and the second component is the subjective. So, objective means standard of living and level of living. Okay, so, objective component is defined by the people who are uh, in our society. Okay, so, everyone can find very easily that what is the standard of living, how a person is living, what is the housing, what is the sanitary conditions, okay, so that everyone can define it. So, it is under the objective. Okay. The other component which is in persons only, okay. the person, only a person, individual person can define, it is under your subjective parameter. Okay. So, I will write it individual parameter. And uh, objective I will write uh, community, community can define it very easily. Okay. So, a uh, subjective which the individual can define is under the quality of life. So, any person can define yes the person is happy, a person is sad, a person is satisfied with his life, uh, what is the happiness index and every individual has a different different level of satisfaction, happiness, anxiety, sadness, everything is, defi is defined by the individual himself or herself. So, it is under your subjective parameter. Okay. So, these two components will make the whole uh, well being of uh, any individual. Okay. Now, coming with the first uh, component, the standard of living which is your objective parameter, a community can easily define this parameter. So, it refers to, uh, it refers to the usual scale of our expenditure, okay. uh, our revenue, how much we are getting, uh, goods we are consuming. Okay. 
and what are the services we are enjoying. So, anyone can define it, yes. So, what income we are getting, okay, in which occupation we are. So, community very, very well uh, can define these things, okay. Standards of living, sanitation uh, we are following or uh, our area is following, what nutrition we have, okay. Level of provision of health care in that area, level of provision of health means uh, we are getting the primary care or uh, have we the access for the secondary care okay? or have we the access of the tertiary care. So, this also depend on our social economic class. Okay? Of course, the rich can afford the secondary or tertiary care. Yes. So, these are under the level of provision of health. Then what is the educational status of a person? So, this is defining the standard of living we can say. Recreational activities in which we are involved okay? and other, there are other services apart from it. Now, standard of living, this depends on the socio-economic class I told you. So, the same is written whatever the revenue we are getting or whatever the pay we are getting. So, it is depend on gross national product per capita. Okay, so, depending on any country which is rich, of course, their people are also rich. So, uh, they can afford a good standard of living compared to the other one. Okay. Now, uh, second uh, component here is the quality of life. So, your quality of life is under the subjective parameter. Okay. So, this uh, individual is defining here. Now, by WHO, World Health Organization, uh, World Health Organization uh, stated one definition and what is the definition here for quality of life of any person? It includes uh, some factors uh, such as uh, happiness, okay, how a person is happy or any person can number it. Then uh, education a person have, a person is satisfied with it or not. Then social and educational attainments, this is an important thing, how a person is satisfied with the life or with the belongings what the person is getting. So, freedom of action of doing anything, so that is the liberty we are saying, yes. Then justice a person is getting, freedom of expression the person have, the rights the person have. So, this all uh, affects the quality of life of a person. Okay? So, these two components, the standard of living and the quality of life, both determines the health of a person. Uh, there are some indexes which we are using in concept of health and disease and these are very important. So, we should know about these terms. First is the your HDI. Okay? And uh, there is also one index here PQLI. So, I have compared between these two. Now, you can see the comparison here. I have taken a component, which component will take in the human development index, okay, which will define um, in any country the humans are developed or not. Okay. Uh, and there is another parameter of physical quality of life index, which is showing uh, the quality of a life of a person. So, these two parameters are compared here, what are the components will take, what the range should have, the many questions will get in the exam from this area. Then a value for the India, because uh, yes of course, we will talk about India, what is the value. See components, first human development index includes the longevity of a person. Okay. So, a life expectancy at birth, of course, a country which is developed, they have a proper facility, they have the sophisticated techniques okay, uh, to handle this, uh, this disease aspect. Okay. They can take care uh, all of these uh, things which are involved uh, with, a, uh, with the early death of a person. Okay. So, longevity is taken care in the human development index, life expectancy at birth at the age 0. Okay. So, this will take and then the second component income. Okay. So, real gross domestic product per capita. Okay. So, uh, depending on the country which is rich of course, they have a good GDP. Then uh, another is the knowledge a person have, 
Okay, knowledge depends on the mean schooling of uh, uh, mean schooling, uh, gross enrollment ratio. Okay, how many children are coming to school? What is the literacy ratio of a particular place? So this is defined in the knowledge by the by the parameters of mean year schooling and gross enrollment ratio and literacy rate. So these three parameters will these components will use and apply it in a formula. So uh, will calculate the HDI index. Okay, human development index. So range here is the zero to one. Okay, uh, for India we have zero point six zero nine. So we need some improvement here, of course. The highest we'll see in the uh, Norway, okay, Denmark. These of some countries they have a good uh, human development index. They have a longevity, very good longevity. They have income. Um, and they have knowledge. The children are going to school. The gross enrollment ratio is high compared to the India. So yes, uh, this is about the HDI. Then physical quality of life index. This is the uh, one parameter uh, we are taking in the concept of health and disease. So in this, three components are here. First is the life expectancy at one year age. So you can see the difference in HDI. We are taking. Uh, life expectancy at age zero, whereas in PQLI we are taking life expectancy at age one. This is the first difference here. Uh, in PQLI physical quality of life index, we are not taking income, we are taking knowledge here. So literacy rate we have counted. The second parameter you can see is the infant mortality rate. So infant mortality rate is uh, number of deaths of children. Okay. Uh, in age of less than one years. Okay, so they are infants uh, who are less than one years. So we'll take number of deaths per uh, number of live births. Okay. Multiply by thousand. So this is the formula we are calculating the infant mortality rate. How many deaths are uh, in a particular year per thousand live births? So this is calculated uh, in the infant mortality rate. We are checking the uh, ratio of uh, these IMR. Okay. On that basis, we are saying yes, our country uh, is following uh, good initiatives uh, in the health. Okay. Uh, they are making their health to more good, or uh, they are. Uh, they are working to decrease all of these aspects which are causing the uh, deaths in the in the children. Okay, then the range here we can find uh, yes there is a difference between the ranges also in HDI we are taking zero to one in the PQLI we are taking zero to hundred. So for India it is nearly sixty five. So these values you should note that uh, uh, what is the range for the HDI uh, in the uh, for the India and what is the range for the PQLI. For India, okay. Now we're coming to the uh, another index we are calculating apart from the physical quality of life index and uh, human development index. There is one parameter called as human poverty index. Okay, I think by the name uh, you will be very clear that uh, the HDI human development index and human poverty index they are contraindicatory. Okay, higher the Human development index, of course, lower will be the human poverty index. Okay, so the same is written here. You can see, it means deprivation in the basic dimensions of human development, complementary to human development index. Okay, so they are complementary. Now, human uh, poverty index, it is defined for different different countries by taking different components. Okay, now see what are the different components here. Components used for developing countries. So we'll take the example of the India. India is a developing country, and uh, components used to develop uh, used for the developed countries. So we'll take USA. Okay, USA is developed country. So what are the parameters in which we'll define is the country is poor or not? So for different countries, we have taken different parameters. Of course, their status are different. So we'll take the different parameters. So we can balance. Now the first parameter here is a probability of a birth. Of not surviving to age forty, okay. Here we have taken forty years of age. In the developed countries, of course, we have a higher expectations with the developed countries. So, what age we have taken? Uh, not surviving to the age of sixty, okay. So, this is under. We'll say yes. Uh, if they are following this, yes, we'll say the country is poor, okay. Then other parameter, adult illiteracy rate. 
Okay. Here we will uh, take illiteracy rate for the developing countries, but uh, for the developed countries such as USA, we are taking functional literacy rate means the people are educated, but they should have uh, they have they should have some work also means they they are they should be employed. Okay, so we are saying functional literacy rate means they should be converted into employment also. Okay, here we are saying only uh, the person should be educated. We are not talking about the employment. Okay, because they are the developing countries. Yes, they are working on it. In the developed countries, we are talking about. Yes, they should be educated as well as they should be employed, they should have functional literacy rate. So, I think this is clear, the terms are clear here. Uh, then third component we have taken here, unweighted average of the two indicators, what indicators we have taken for the country? There should be a proper water source, yes and we have taken the children which are underweight for the age. Okay. So, these two uh, unweighted average we have taken. Here, uh, the third component we uh, we have taken is the how many people who are living below poverty line. Okay, fourth parameter is here for the developed countries. Rate of long term unemployment means which is more than twelve months, which is more than one year. Okay, so these parameters are defining uh, the status of a country, and on that basis, we'll say. Uh, uh, we will say as a country is poor or in which class and we will give a uh, range that is the human poverty index. Okay. These all index we are taking care in the concepts of health and disease and of course, they are defining the health of any country. Okay. What initiative a government, uh, government will take on the basis of these of the indexes. Uh, then there is another aspect. Uh, spectrum of health means uh, what is the uh, uh, what is the range of uh, we can say the phases uh, we can we can see in between of the uh, good health okay means the positive health and the death okay what are the phases we are seeing because health is the state okay it is only the state it is uh, if it is changing we, we, are, we are calling it as yes the person is under uh, under some disease or have some problem so, these are some of the phases, these are called a spectrum of health. Okay. What are these phases we can see? Um, in between of the positive health and death, we are seeing these phases. Okay. A person could be better healthy, okay. a person could be freedom from sickness. Okay. This could also be one phase with a person, a person is feeling yes, I am free of sick, I okay. am free of sickness. Uh, there is a one condition unrecognized sickness. Okay. So, when the symptoms are not coming properly to the body, but yes we are exposed to some of the uh, antigen or some of the uh, you can disease agent. Okay. So, this is under the unrecognized sickness. Then uh, we are coming with a mild sickness. Okay. So, we are going to death if we are not uh, diagnosing properly or not taking treatment. So, this is the stage here. So, mild sickness would be one condition. Okay, when we are treating for the dis, uh, for the disease, we are taking treatment, and there's one condition called as a severe sickness, which is associated with a complication, and a terminal stage, okay, terminal stage, and ultimately will reach to the uh, death. Okay, so these are the spectrum of health. Then uh, there are the determinants of health. What are the determinants? See. I told you in initial of the slides about the dimensions. Okay. Now, health is the multi dimensional concepts and uh, in the multi dimensional concepts, we have uh, physical health, we have uh, social, we have mental parameter and apart from it, I told you there are some other parameters like spiritual parameter, philosophical parameter, what cultures we are following, socio economic, nutritional, environmental, these all of the uh, dimensions of the health. From the dimensions, if we conclude or we uh, abstract some of the points, so we will make out on the determinants of health. What are the factors which are responsible for, uh, for uh, calculating the health, for checking the health, okay, which are responsible for making good health, we can say. So, what are these uh, determinants we can see in this chart here? First is the biological. 
okay biological means uh, we we are uh, exposed to the bacteria viruses okay fungi okay any agent any foreign agent uh, which has a biological property so we'll call it in a biological uh, parameter biological determinant there is a behavior okay by the behavior we are also determining the health okay so this is the part of the mental health okay then environment environment is a very broad term okay not only the uh, pollution pollution could be also of course air water anything okay uh, not only the pollution we are taking the society also okay this is also our environment okay interpersonal relationship by this also we are determining our health okay so socio economic parameter of course poor middle rich on the basis of occupation we can say on the basis of occupation or the salary or income okay and also knowledge these all are under the socio economic then what health system we have so of course in the india i am telling you uh, we have uh, segregated the health system into the rural and the urban rural rural and urban for the rural we have uh, primary health care centers okay initially we have the primary health care centers in the rural area then there could be the secondary also in the urban we will get all of the advanced care facilities okay so we will get the primary care we will get the secondary care as well as the tertiary care or any other sophisticated hospitals we will get in the urban okay so this is all the health system we are accessing okay then socio cultural uh, what cultures we are following what are uh, beliefs and attitudes for a disease okay then uh, aging of a population of course a country in which the geriatric population is uh, high of course the diseases are more prone in the geriatric population compared to the adult age group of course so this is also determining the health of any uh, area or any place then what science and technology of course the uh, countries which are very developed they have a good science and technology um in uh, area of the health or of course all of the areas so we are talking here the health so we have these uh, sophisticated techniques in uh, developed countries compared to the developing one okay we, so we are following the developing countries are following the science and technology then information and communication so this is under the awareness how much uh, we are awareing the people what are the notifications we are doing okay how much the communication information communication a country is using so this is also uh, affecting the health here of course the gender there are some diseases which are more prone in the uh, males okay there are some diseases which are more prone in the females as compared to the uh, other genders so um, see we are seeing here in the uh, gender group okay then equity and social justice of course this should be uh, this should be ideal uh, ideally uh, existed in any of the place okay so a country should follow the equity means the equal distribution of all of the facilities to the uh, people who are living in a particular area and they should follow the social justice as well okay so these are all of the determinants of the health then there are some indicators uh, health indicators see what are these indicators so indicators they are they are measured measuring the health status of the community okay now uh, if we are checking the health the concept in the concept of health and disease there are some indicators which are uh, uh, very well used uh, for checking the status okay so we are comparing the health status of one country to the other countries also uh, we are checking what are the needs for the health uh, uh, health facilities and uh, implementation if it is required for the uh, countries okay uh the indicators whatever the indicators we are using for the uh, for checking the health they should have some characteristics okay those indicators should be valid okay they should be reliable means if we are using it many times they should uh, reproduce the same results they should be sensitive means for whatever we are checking they should give the uh, means uh, they will check the same things they should be specific okay and uh, of course for the areas which we are implementing uh, they should be feasible for that 
okay they should be true they should be relevant so these are some of the characteristics we we are following for the indicators there are some examples we'll see what are these examples of the indicators like uh, we can check the health by the mortality how many people are dying from a disease okay how many people are in morbid conditions how many people are with the disability so they are in some complications and some terminal diseases we are checking the disability rates also what is the nutritional status indicator so we'll check the vitamin vitamin a vitamin d okay uh, then energy energy yield and then protein status fat status so all of these things we are taking in the nutritional status indicators what are the healthcare deliveries okay indicators how many nurses are there how many doctors are there utilization rate how many hospitalizations are occurring how many follow ups are there okay indicators of social and mental health then environmental indicators i told you before also socio economic indicators then what are the policies the government is following these are all depending on the these of the uh, above indicators okay then what is the quality of life of course there are some parameters i told you who has defined uh, what indicators will take in the quality of life so these are the indicators we are taking in the health indicators and we are following to check the health i hope this is clear to all of you the next part will continue in the next lecture thank you so much everyone